In this video, I'm gonna go through three skills that I think that every programmer should have in order to be able to create any company that you want. So straight away, these three skills are app development, networking basics, and databases. With only one of these skills, the average yearly income in the US ranges from $80,000 to $100,000. So not only could it provide you with an above average income, it will also equip you with the tools that you need to become the next Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg. If you were to build something like Facebook, OnlyFans, PayPal, Instagram, WhatsApp, or Bitcoin, you need to know all three of these. Knowing all three of these will mean that you alone can build these things, giving you the opportunity to create wealth from basically nothing. So these are the skills that will allow you to create companies or things that can make you money and they're not what you need to get a job they're skills that I think every programmer should have because of the leverage and infinite opportunities it will provide you these are the skills behind some of our world's most profitable businesses and the most important one being to be able to create apps both mobile and web because all of the businesses that I listed above all need this bare essential to exist so you need to know how to develop either web apps or mobile apps. And for maximum leverage and opportunity, you should know both. I suggest learning Flutter or React Native. For maximum leverage, you want to learn the fewest number of things possible that will give you the largest return. Flutter and React Native both allow you to build for Android and iOS at the same time, which means you only need to build your app once and then you can run it anywhere. I think that the most useful skill that you could have as a programmer is to be able to build multi-platform apps. And this is not because I think that cross-platform frameworks are better than native ones. It's just that I think that for most of the apps that you could come up with, you don't really need native development. And there's very few reasons that would actually motivate building an app twice. So go multi-platform. For web development, I recommend React. You learn how to work with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS using a web framework. React is the web framework. This is especially useful since React is also available for mobile with React Native. So that means that by learning React, you essentially learn how to build websites and mobile apps. Again, minimum work for maximum leverage. Learn one framework and build for web and mobile simultaneously. Being able to build the thing that people interact with is only step one. To truly make this useful, you need to understand the basics of networking. Specifically, you want to learn about the different types of HTTP requests, how clients versus servers work, how APIs work, and also how to create one. And going back to the Facebook example, the first skill lets us build the shell of Facebook. It lets us build something that looks like Facebook. This step lets us understand how Facebook works under the hood. So the different types of HTTP requests that get sent when you press a like button, for instance, how the front end talks to the back and via an API. If the app building part is the skin, the networking part is the organs and the brain that lets the organism function. This combined with the next skill on this list is essentially backend development. Under this umbrella category of networking, I would also include learning how to work with JSON. And this combined with the next skill on our list is essentially backend development. Once you know that, then the final piece of the puzzle is to figure out how databases work. Databases are super important to know how to work with. And as with all of the things on this list, I'm not saying that you should know this by heart or without using Google. I'm saying that you should try these things out and try to build something that actually works, that implements all of these technologies. Because once you've done that once, you'll be able to do it again and probably better. Programming is not about knowing exactly what to type to get the code to run. It's about understanding how what you want to do can be done. You only need to understand how these skills generally work and when and where to use them. If you know that, then you can just Google the specifics. If I were to build something like Facebook today, then I would still need to Google all of this stuff, like how to build a REST API using Python, how to start a Postgres database, how to host the code on a server somewhere, and how to build the site or app. But the key thing is that I know what to use and I've done it before. So even though I still need to Google all of this stuff and lots and lots of things, I still have these things in my head somewhere and it won't take too long to reignite them. So aim for general understanding and not mastery because I think that mastery is overrated. These are the skills that I believe will give anyone who learns them the basic tool set needed to create financial freedom for themselves. The only thing left after learning these skills is to figure out what to build and make no mistake because this is the most difficult part. However, a good way to find ideas is to look at emerging trends. And today's video sponsor Morning Brew can actually be really useful here. 
Morning Brew is a free daily newsletter that comes from Monday to Saturday. And what I really like about it is that it's high quality information that's easily digestible. Before Morning Brew, I never read the news because I felt like every news outlet was pretty much just selling bad news. And that's not what Morning Brew does. Morning Brew is witty, relevant and informative, which is why I really like it and why I also think that you will too. In the latest one, for instance, I learned that apps that are trending right now are very highly privacy oriented, which is super useful information for anyone looking to develop apps. I highly recommend trying it out and again it's free so why not? Sign up for Morning Brew today using the link in the video description below. It only takes 15 seconds to subscribe. For an example of how these skills are used we can look at Bitcoin and WhatsApp and even though they seem to be wildly different things they're actually not and they're a true testament to how these skills can be used to create such vastly different output. To build WhatsApp, you first need to create an app that allows people to type in the messages that they want to send. Secondly, you need to create an API and host that on a server, which will allow people to send and receive messages. And thirdly, you need to create a database to store the message history for each user and possibly profile pictures and login info. Bitcoin again uses all three principles. And in order to create something like Bitcoin, you need a good understanding of how networking works. First, you need a place where people can go to buy, sell and mine the coins. So you need a website. Secondly, you need to host that website somewhere. So you need a server. And then you need to create an API of some kind so that I can send money to you remotely. And thirdly, you need some sort of database to actually keep track of all of the transactions that are being made. As you can tell from the description, the most fundamental skills that you need to build these two are pretty much exactly the same. The difference is in what it gets used for. It is by clever use of networking in conjunction with brilliant use of cryptography that the creation of the decentralized currency known as Bitcoin was possible. And one of the most brilliant parts about Bitcoin is the decentralization. But for this, you still need to host a database somewhere, which means you need to know some things about networking and servers. You also need a website to host this database on so that people can find it. Bitcoin is a true testament to what can be accomplished from a single individual with the right knowledge and ingenuity, even if no one knows how many or few people are behind Bitcoin. These three skills are the foundation that allowed that to happen. And understanding these things is not hard. Coming up with an idea like Bitcoin, on the other hand, that is hard. So it seems that these three skills are much like Samuel L. Jackson in that they're in everything. All right, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.